Hi, my name is Paul Kaharvitz, and today I'm going to show you our Dynacon modular conveying system. Uh, what's going to be a little bit unique about this is the configuration. Let's go take a look. We had a customer come to us recently that had a, a big space constraint. They had no space uh, left and right. Typically when we convey parts, uh, we'll start with a horizontal, go at an angle to on an angle, and then nose back over a Z configuration. Uh, we just didn't have any space for that. So what we essentially did is to build a vertical conveyor that went straight up and about three and a half feet over. Because we went straight up, we had to make uh, special flights that were bent, uh, kind of a scoop flight. In, in addition, we put a chamfer on it. You can see what we did over here, maybe a little, a little clearer. In order not to pinch the parts, we put the chamfer on so the part can slip past. And we didn't really care if the parts uh, trickled down. We just didn't want them to get caught between the side rail and the flight itself. The scoops obviously are needed when we're going vertically. Uh, in addition, we had to build a cleat trap down here. And all a cleat trap is, is it's two cleats uh, next to each other, and then we boxed it in with a, a piece of Lexan. Let me turn the conveyor on, and we'll see the conveyor in action. Again, you can see that, that there's no possibility for the part to get caught between the sidewalls. When it gets there, it merely falls back down into the hopper. It's really quite a simple system, but it just goes to show you how you can take a modular system and just convert it into exactly what you need. If you have any questions on this conveyor or on any specific application you have, please give us a call here at Dynamic Conveyor Corporation. Thank you.